Alright, looks like he's moving without any problems here, and this is this is good because it is wet. I see water coming up on the wheels. And it's a big concern of mine if this thing is gonna work or not. And holy hell that stuff is tall. so terrible you can't hardly even see it here. Now he has not been able to go this fast, even in 
regular hay, you know, regular thickness hay. This stuff is up. I'm on a I'm on a point here. Now this is where he just along the edge here where he just mowed. This is this is my sternum. That's where it's at. And it's all like this. It's all like this. This had 60 units, 60 how many units? 30, 32, 64 units of nitrogen. 64 units of nitrogen on this field. Uh, had potash at the rate of 77 units of potash, and it had uh, sulfur. Uh, I forget what the rate of sulfur was. It was like I forget what it is. I have to go look. Um, yeah, this is a mix of fescue, orchard, and reed canary. And you can see the reed canary is here, and uh, right here. This is reed canary. It's just starting to. It's just starting to think about heading out. So we're probably just a little bit early with it anyway. So now I'm just going to go get the John Deere and head into it. We'll be both mowing. We'll knock down a couple hundred acres today. Alrighty then. Now we're going to be mowing in high speed. Uh, all I did was hook up the... Uh, uh, put the, well, hook it up. I just put the camera on the tripod, set it inside the cab of the uh, John Deere, and chased my father around the field. Um... A few years back, my dad had some surgery on his shoulder, and he, I think he tore it again at some point, so his shoulder's really killing him. So later in the day, uh, Timothy hopped in, and he uh, he mowed probably about the same amount as what my dad did. And I'm figuring we got 200, 250 acres on the ground. I haven't really done the math, but we've done a lot of hay. Uh, mowed off three full farms, um, looking really good as far as hay goes. Um, but, you know, there it is. It's uh, the beginning of six months of making hay. Hopefully this year goes smoother than the start of the year. Um, it's just been a major struggle. It's already the 8th of June, and honestly, I only have 200 bales made. I've had some questions about how much old hay I have left before, you know, you know, if I have any old hay left, and of course I have old hay left. Uh, last year I had no old hay left. Oh yeah, there's something. Dad actually wrapped it right there. Um, I figured out why it's wrapping, and I just have to cut that off. There's a piece of steel that is in the very back, and it's snagging just in the right dampness conditions it's snagging some hay causing a build up and then zoop, around it goes so if you look on the left side of this case windrower as he's going you'll see a, a, a clump every once in a while um, and that is where it's causing the issue uh, he wrapped it about three times yesterday uh, timothy ran it all day he didn't wrap it at all but, uh, you know, we're, we're booking across this field. Um, it doesn't, you know, of course, now it looks like we're going fast because I've sped it up. But uh, it really doesn't seem like we're going that fast when you get to the next segment of this video. Uh, it's just insane how many miles per hour we are actually going. Um, we're looking at between me and him together, we're probably, well, I know how fast I'm going. I'm going about 12 miles per hour. And, you know, a lot of people don't go 12 miles an hour when they're bailing or mowing or anything. Now, even when I'm bailing uh, with the crone baler, I'll, I'll bail at 10 miles an hour, uh, especially with this new baler or this new mower. Yeah, God, I... It's early in the morning, I'm sorry. Uh, especially with the, the 8530. Uh, the 8530 can just... You know, it just yanks that baler like there's no tomorrow. You don't even feel it back there. Of course, the baler has a capacity that you can't exceed, uh, and hopefully this hay dries out pretty good in the next couple of days. We're supposed to have like 90-degree heat coming at us, which is nice. And uh, if you see the, you see this stripe in the field here, you got a, a little bit of a darker area to the left where Dad's mowing, and I'm actually directly below the drone. For some reason, it set up a little funny. And it didn't get me in the shot, which is, it's fine. You'll see me in a little bit. But if you see that greener stripe there, um, we had a malfunction with the uh, sprayer. And uh, with Dad's sprayer, the, the commander. Uh, one boom section behind the tank was not on. It just, there was a broken wire and it caused a little bit of trouble. So what I did was I came in with the big hardy navigator and I 
did two swipes down and back, and it burnt the ever-loving shit out of this field. But as you can see, it made up for it um, where it was. Uh, you can see where it's a little bit less, uh, a little less green in color and where I came down the headland of the uh, of the field it's a lot greener even though I burned it it really did do a pretty decent job now the field that you're looking at right now um, to the left of the roadway you can see uh, there's some skippers in it uh, where there's no fertilizer because there was a snow fence that the county neglected to get out of my field which really kind of pissed me off and uh, yeah, so now we're going down across the field backwards. I didn't have the drone set up quite the way I'd have liked it to be. And uh, I'm flying this thing by myself while mowing hay and chasing a case windrower. So if, if ever there was a definition of multitasking, I would have to say that this is it. I mean, we, I just... Yeah, just trying to move the camera around a little bit, keep it straight, not make skippers, uh, you know, play with mud right there. I'm, I'm starting to touch into a wet spot in the field. Uh, the next go around, dad hits it pretty hard and you'll see him. Well, you'll see him when it happens. If it, if you see it, I, I don't know if I caught it on film or not, but we're going to find out here pretty soon. Uh, yeah, it, it's just, it's a difficult thing to do to fly a drone and mohe at the same time. Uh, I tried to get Timothy over here to help me out, but he was getting a stack wagon ready to go. And uh, yes, he put it on the 8120. He, the 4960 has not been torn apart just yet. Uh, but that's coming. We got another week of rain coming after Tuesday. So I'm going to mow again today. Uh, Teresa's probably going to be running the tether. Uh, hopefully she is, and uh, Cody's going to run another tether, and we're going to just, we're going to be making hay here. So if I'm mowing, and say Tim or Dad is mowing, and Teresa's tedding, and Cody's tedding or working on a tether, um, things should go or come together pretty good. So now we're going backwards again, and I got a feeling that, oh, maybe I will catch it. Okay, so now you're about ready to see Dad hit into this mud hole. Now, I'm looking down at the camera while he's doing this, and uh, I don't know what happened, but I think I hit the button that shut the uh, shut the camera off. I'll bet I miss it. I bet I miss it. But anyway, uh, I hit the button that shuts the camera off, and uh, I missed a lot of... You see me do a little bit of a swerve there as I'm trying to control this drone. I do have it set up on the follow me option, and nope, you're not going to see it. Doggone. Oh, huh? That was it. Yeah. So, uh, how many rounds did you get around there? Quite a bit. What do you got there? A new drone. Yeah. Oh, what is that thing? This is the, uh, blade. Um. Ow, freaking bug just flew right in my ear. Yeah, they're everywhere. Oh, get away from this thing. These sons of bitches are all over. So, anyway, um, how many rounds? Which field did you do? The first one or the one of, by a. Not across the road next to the house. I did the one where the uh, island is. It's how many? How much did you get done? I got all the way around and uh, around that tree. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, we're supposed to have rain tomorrow. Can you?